Hey folks, it's Mr and Mrs Bisson and Fly here. Bit of a tongue twister that. We're not in our usual environs, but we've come out for the first time since this whole Covid thing kicked off. We've come abroad. We're in uh, the Canary Islands, Grand Canaria in fact. Uh, we're out once again with Canary Motorcycle Tours. They're back up and running. It's the first time we've been here for three years, something like that. Yep. So we are super excited to see what it's like riding once again in decent weather when it's winter at home. Stick around, stay tuned. Okay, so fantastic service. This is uh, Joy, the brains of the outfit. Say hello, Joy. Hello, everybody. And uh, we're off now to the unit where the bikes are kept, get ourselves uh, set up for a day on the bikes. Right, so we made it to the lock-up, and here's Martin, you probably remember from three years ago? Three years. Incredible. Yeah. So it's been a while, back in operation now? Two years of our life wasted, though, don't forget. I know, yeah. I know. So you could say one year. True. But... You're all back up and running again we are, now. We are. So, uh, new fleet of bikes, I see, or uh, certainly new to me. What have we got a, then? These are the Africa Twins that you haven't seen before. These very are the, nice, uh, very nice. These are the, the old litre ones, not yep. the new 1100. They look nice, don't they? Keep uh, them nice oh, and clean. Yes. Yep. Well, we haven't used them, have we? <laughs> well, yeah, fair <laughs> we've, got, we've got them two, two months before lockdown. Oh, nightmare, <laughs> nightmare. Nice bikes, though. And then we've got the SVs. Which, oh, cool. Whoops, I'll just trip over my helmet. Which we That's really, that damaged. Which we really like, certainly for here. Yeah, they're great bikes, aren't they? So, um, am I going to be on SV today? You're going to be on the SV. Excellent. I really like these. They are great little bikes, aren't they? So, I uh, look forward to that. Splendid. And what have we got uh, lined up for the day? What's we, in store? We're going to the north of the island. Yep. Uh, we call it the Green Route because it's full of barrancas, forests, reservoirs. No idea what a barranca is. Uh, a valley. Oh, okay. Thank you. Right, right. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. I'm trying to be Spanish. Pl here. Plenty of food set up for us. Oh, yes. Nice restaurants. Well, yeah. Brill. Yeah. All right. Buenos dias. Andalusia, no. San mm. uh, Mateo, Moya, Galda, Ooh. Sardina. Bueno. He's good with the language, isn't he? <laughs> All right, so it's time to depart. There's a group of, uh, well, lots of us. And uh, I think we're going to split up into two groups today, but offer some fuel first. Anyway, it's going to be great to be back on the bike. Oh, I've been riding for 10 yards and already feels absolutely brilliant. Number one, to be back on a motorcycle. Number two, to be on a motorcycle in the sunshine. Number three, to be back uh, with Martin and Joy at Canary Motorcycle Tours. It's such a fun setup that they got here. And look at this weather. As I say, middle of October, properly autumnal at home. Absolutely beautiful here today. Got to get used to riding on the wrong side of the road again. Or the right side, depending on your viewpoint. So up ahead, in case you're wondering, that's Martin with uh, Carol on the back. She elected to go with Martin because she thinks he's a better rider than me. It's outrageous, isn't it? Absolutely true, of course. Martin is an excellent rider. And as I'm on the SV without a top box, she feels more secure on there, so that's, that's fine. Right, first stops of fuel, and then we'll hit the roads. So major operation, this, at the start of each day to fill all the bikes up. And uh, because of the sort of riding you do around here, fill up usually lasts for the whole day. So... Uh, First task. So uh, lunchtime, I'm glad to say. We've stopped uh, near a little restaurant we're going to walk to in a minute. I've got Mrs Fly. How have you found the uh, riding so far on the back of Martin's bike? Martin is a fantastic rider, oh, don't, which is don't, why I've got the back go. with him, because he's so smooth. You see, this is why I don't let Mrs Fly <laughs> talk much on my videos. So uh, as I was saying before, the food here is just amazing. So uh, I've got high hopes for this. Let's hope it turns out right. 
Right, so it's lunchtime. We've already established that Martin is, number one, you're a bilingual, multilingual, you're a linguist expert, Clara. You're an amazing rider, Clara. You're a bit of a hit with the ladies. Oh, yes. And I think anybody that looks at you can see you do like your food as well. So you brought us to a bit of a, um, well, a fishy restaurant, haven't you? What are you recommending today for us? Uh, fish. Excellent. We'll get the fish <laughs> and we'll report back. Right, the fish has arrived for everybody except me. And uh, what do we think? It look on looks, it's looking pretty damn good, isn't it? It looks beautiful. Bit of a smells. chip mountain, liking it. <laughs> That's for Dan. Go, go for it. it. Smells good. Verdict. Mm. Have Lovely. to speak with your mouthful. Good, good. <laughs> and uh, Martin, up to its usual standard. Oh, oh yes. Perfect. Oh, okay. hear that sizzle. Two, um, okay. 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 That is good. That is good. So the uh, damage is done. We polished that off with uh, great aplomb in, at some speed, and it was only about what ten or a half to mine. I think nine fifty. What an absolute winner! We'll come here again. White van. Gaining a bit of height now. Spectacularismo. I have to say, coming out and riding uh, on these uh, twisty, turny roads that you get here in the Canaries lots of hairpins very few straight roads it does sharpen up your riding a bit like going on a track day or doing a day at an off-road school i just think it's a good idea to do a session riding like this because it just means that your riding is that much better when you get back home again so we're leaving buena vista the appropriately named good view i have to say again just thinking about these twisty turny roads here that's where this SV650 I'm riding comes into its own. When you can obviously you can ride a big bike round if you want to, but you don't need it. And actually, it's easier on a smaller, lighter bike. So, if you want to, you can ride the big Africa Twins that Martin and Joy have got here, or you can pick one of the smaller bikes like this. And I found this a joy to ride today. I have to say, I'm a fan of the SV650. Generally, I borrowed one a couple of years ago now from Suzuki. I'll put a link in the corner. Go check that out if you want to see my review of the bike. Another one of these very green valleys that you find occasionally here on Gran Canaria. A real mix of environments here from deserts and uh, even sand dunes in the south to these verdant green valleys in the north and then sort of volcanic almost Martian landscapes. For such a small island, it really is quite diverse. And that for me is uh, part of its appeal to ride, I think. I can't tell you how good it is to be riding again for a full day and abroad in lovely weather. It's, uh, it's just beautiful out here today. It's about 28 degrees. And uh, well, this sort of ride is just good for, your, good for your spirit, isn't it? Good for the soul. You just miss this for so long. I'm so glad it's back on the agenda especially if you can do it on a damp autumnal day like I'm told it is back in Blighty today <laughs> Yeah. So we momentarily interrupt the main feature to bring you uh, a little reminder of something. Do you remember back in 2019, I did a tour in Slovenia with uh, Martin, Momo and David, who I always call Pete. Uh, it was a great tour. We were wrecking some routes, weren't we, for something that was going to happen when? 2020. And of course, what did happen in 2020? COVID. Yeah, so that all went by the wayside. But it's back on track again now, isn't it? 2022, all systems go. Excellent. And there's something new about the tour there as is. well? It's right in front of you here, Andy. Yeah, brilliant. The, uh, we've got some new... Uh, Africa Twins ready for the tours for next year. Brilliant, so you take them from here up we to Slovenia? All the way over there to join the other bikes and just go over there, Fabulous. the BMWs and the Tigers. Brilliant, and there's a new tour as well, isn't there? There for is something really special. 2023, we're yep. doing a two weeks tour. Yep. That takes in Slovenia, Croatia, Montenegro, Albania, Greece, Wow. Uh, and finishing up making our way back up through Bosnia. Fantastic. So, so is that something that you can book yourself onto? Uh, you can. Limited places only, so we need to think about booking early. Real. So if you fancy uh, something that sounds like a bit of an adventure, great value, great fun, great country, then check out the links below. Get yourself booked up on summer in Slovenia and the Balkans, as it turns it out is, now. Yes. All right, back to the main feature. Something else that's great about riding in the Canaries and in Spain in general is that the Spanish very much have a motorcycling culture about them. And they kind of approve of motorcyclists. It's very different uh, logic to what we get in the UK. So you find when you're riding around these places, often trucks or vans will just pull over and let you pass, or cars will indicate and let you come by. That just doesn't happen in the UK. 
Well, you're more likely to have one try and have you off just for fun. It's to let you pass. So, uh, yeah, it's all breath of fresh air if you're a British rider coming over here. Check that out. You know what, I've ridden in the uh, Canaries quite a lot over the past sort of five or six years since I've known the guys from Canary Motorcycle Tours and uh, whenever I come I discover something new I don't think I've ever ridden this road before in fact I haven't ridden most of the roads we've done today even though I've been here as I say quite a few times just stunning vistas loving it wow To say the road surface is a little bit variable at the moment this bit's a little bit bumpy and uh, cracked as you can see a little bit of gravel on the corners can be a little unnerving especially when they're high up but in the main the road condition is very good on the island i do like a tree-lined avenue <clears throat> that smell of pines that ass this is the great thing of having a local tour guide on these trips they just take you places you wouldn't go yourself and you miss out on some absolutely stunning views wow what a road bit of a viewpoint right bit of a viewpoint stop check this out right what have we got here then martin you're a font of all knowledge what are we looking at we're looking at the original crater of the island when it first started to erupt. The original crater was 17 kilometres across. All these areas in the middle of the bits of... Is that true? Or you just made that up? No, that's completely true. Have you looked that up in a book? Yeah, Joy told me. Oh, oh okay, yeah. I believe yeah. it. Yeah. Brilliant. And then the last Fantastic. eruption there is the Rock of Nublo at the top. The Rock of what? Nublo. Oh, I thought you said Nublo. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, up there? Four and a half million years that ago. one there. Blimey. You don't remember that, well, do you? Well, before I time. <laughs> What cracking ride through there that was, it eh? Was. Through that um, bit of Forest. sort of forestry bit. bit. Of smell of pine. Yeah, it was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. cracking. Once again, Martin has uh, done us proud, hasn't he? See, this is the beauty of having a local guide, isn't it? it that is. little road we turned up on the when we did that little shimmy to the right, and it's a little narrow one. Yeah. And it turned out to be that beautiful road all around that. Fantastic. I mean, I'd never found that on my own. No. no. Good man. Did you find that by accident one day, or? Uh, I stumbled across it on me on me day off. On a recce. Yeah. Excellent. And uh, presumably you know this island like the back of your hand now? No, I've been here nine years and I'm still finding new roads to, uh, really? to find, yeah. And do you ever get lost when you're out on tour? Uh, no. Good, good man. But you do lose the, you lose the, the odd air. person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Not, me not many, by the way, not many. Probably the uh, the key right. Well, though, sorry, Martin. Martin's the the brains behind it. <laughs> Let's do it all again. We've already said that Joy's the brains guy now. <laughs> right, bit of viewpoint action. Check this out. Okay. Hello. Should we do it again? Yeah, we were talking about. Uh, I, I know you were. That's why. <laughs> and of course, Pete. I know your name's Pete, and I normally call you Dave. All right, got that the wrong way round, didn't I? 